Windows 11 is a pretty easy operating system to use, but sometimes stuff goes wrong and you get a weird looking error code. My name is Adullah, you're watching Candidate Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can fix error code 45 on Windows 10 or Windows 11. Now the first thing we're going to do uh, is actually run three commands. Um, these are three different steps that you should do and either one of them can help fix your problem. Uh, simply right click your start menu uh, or your start windows icon right here and then click on terminal slash admin alternatively you can also just open up the start menu and search for command prompt and run it as an administrator right here it will ask you for some permissions and once they have been provided you will get a command prompt administrator window now the first command that we're going to run is dism the way DISM works is that it's a simple command that uh, goes dism.exe slash online slash restore health. Type in this command, press enter, make sure that you have an internet connection when you're doing so, so that DISM can find any problems and download any fixes that it might need. If this doesn't help resolve your issue, you can go ahead and run SFC again. Uh, SFC is also a pretty simple command so you just type in SFC slash scan now and then it will go ahead and scan your system for any missing or corrupt files that your windows might have which might be causing this error code. Finally if this also doesn't fix your problem you can try running the check disk command on your windows directory. So uh, simply speaking you can type in chk dsk and then give it your drive letter which in this case is going to be C. If you've got your windows installed on any other drives make sure that you replace this command there as well and uh, once you're done check this should have fixed any problems on your boot drive and hence the problem with windows if running these commands did not fix your problem you should try and run the hardware troubleshooter now uh, to do this simply open up the windows menu and search for troubleshooters you'll see troubleshoot settings pop up I'm going to click that Windows settings will open up and now we're going to click on other troubleshooters. You will see a bunch of troubleshooters here. Uh, so you've got audio, network and internet, printer, windows update, background intelligent transfer service and so on and so forth. Now depending upon when you're running into this error, you may have to run a different troubleshooter from the one that you might be running. So if you're getting this issue while running programs, run the program compatibility troubleshooter. If you're running this error while playing audio or during windows update run those particular troubleshooters and you should be out of beats if you're on an older version of windows or depending on where you're using your pc you might also see the hardware troubleshooter show up in this troubleshooters list make sure that you run that as well moving on the next solution that you can try is to update your windows drivers now to do this press windows key plus x to open up the quick access menu and head over to the device manager We'll wait for this to load and now as you can see I have an entire list of every device connected to my PC. If there is a problem with a particular device on your system you will see a yellow exclamation mark right next to it. As you can see all of my PC components are working fine so I don't have this issue at the moment. However once you find the device uh, with the problem just select it, uh, select the category, expand it, select the device, right click and then click on update driver. Then you can search automatically for drivers and Windows will automatically go and fetch the best drivers for you. As you can see, in my case, I already have the best drivers installed, but that might not be the case for you. So it's very important for you to go ahead and update your drivers correspondingly. Last but not least, a Windows update can fix a lot of issues that come with Windows. To do this, simply press Windows key plus I to open up Windows settings and head over to the Windows update section. Now as you can see I am already updated but uh, you can click the check for updates button to check for any updates that might be pending and hence uh, install them as soon as they become available. And uh, that's that once you've gotten your windows updated and all of the commands run you should be able to get rid of this error. If you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.